So hello guys, today we'll start exercise number 11, which is an exercise on a three-dimensional single-spam road bridge with a moving load, okay? And we will use the European section database in this example, okay? As you may see over here. So let me select the shell design over here shell design let me make sure that i've got the european section and the original sections as euro code very good okay let's start by the model definition let me go to view menu projection xy now i'm going to the geometry menu objects and polyline Counter geometry over here. I'm going to type here the coordinates that I want, which will be 0, 0, 0, add 30, 0, 0, add 30, 6, 0, add and 0, 6, 0 add apply and there you've got your counter I'm going to press the zoom all button or double click on the mouse wheel okay and now I'm going to geometry menu panels I'm going to set a new thickness over here as you may see it is already set Okay, this is the concrete that I want, 2530, and the thickness is 20 centimeters. Very good. Okay, I'm going to close that. I'm going to create this with an internal point. Very good. Now, view projection 3D, or just press the little bird house here. I'm going to set this as a large one. I prefer this as large. Okay. The reinforcement type will be reinforced concrete floor reinforcement. I'm going to select that over here. Very good. Now let's make the support definition. Let me jump to the support layout tab. Select the fixed. Go to the graphical viewer and select this shorter edge over here. And also, oh, sorry, you need to select the linear. Select the shorter edge over here and over there very good let me go back to geometry you could go to view menu display and activate the supports icon just press the right mouse click go to display model and as you may see the support symbol are already turned on okay now let's define the bridge trusses by the application of a library structure which is a trapezoidal trapezoid truss type 3 dialog box which is this one over here the length one will be 30 this one will be 27 the height will be 5 meters and the number of fill will be 10 and I, I don't want a continuous chart okay let me go to sections for the upper and lower short I will use a T run which will be this one here okay i'm going to copy this to the lower short and now define over here the diagonal cross section which will be this one 140 by 60 114 by 6.3 okay okay and there you go you have your truss now i'm going to select it and copy it with it move or copy the vector will be zero six zero execute very good now i'm going to make the bracing definition i'm going to the model bars layout okay over here bars i want a simple bar with this cross section in the beginning I'm going to mark this as 1.505 press tab and now press 4.565 add okay 
1.565 and now 4.505 add to quit out of this I'm going to the graphical viewer and press select over here I'm going to select the true previously defined elements I'm going to add it over copy translation vector will be 300 zero, zero. the number of repetitions will be 8 executes very good let me go back to geometry now and I'm going to define the cross beams back to bars the bar type will be simple bar once again with the same cross section 1.5 5 over here and now 1.565 5 over here at okay select select this edit move or copy and now translation vector will be once again 300 zero, zero, with the number of repetitions will be 9 execute okay very good and there you go going back to geometry and there you have the geometry of our 3d single span root bridge so in the next video we will start the load definition okay thank you very much for watching and uh, please subscribe